Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do another video just about getting into medicine, but this one is the graduate edition. So in America, I think everyone that applies to study medicine is a graduate course. So you do an undergraduate degree and then you then go on to do a graduate course. But here in the UK, as you guys will know, we have direct entry. So you do your A-levels and you can start medical school at age 18 or um, there's graduate entry, but there's also direct entry for graduates, if that makes sense. Anyway, it will, it will, it will all come together. So just a little background about my story and how I did it. So I applied for medicine straight out of my A-levels. Unfortunately, I didn't get in, like a lot of people don't. And so I went and did midwifery, which I really, really, really enjoyed. And we can talk at another video about why I picked that and, um, and how I felt I benefited from that um, but then in my so I then applied again when I was in my third year when I was going into my third year of uni and then I got in and ta-da here we are today but I'm not on a graduate entry course I'm on a normal five-year course even though I'm a graduate and there's loads of graduates on my normal five-year course there's like 30% graduates on my course which is you know it's pretty interesting so um so yeah it's pretty it's it's a very difficult course to get into in general so it's not to say that people won't get in lots of people won't get in and there's many options some people decide to take a gap year and then apply again other people like myself i decided to do another course instead and then um come back to medicine or reapply for medicine with another degree just in case so I felt as though if the second time I applied I didn't get in I would be fine because I had a degree in something that I truly enjoyed and I'll be able to get a really amazing job doing something I enjoyed so you know you weigh up pros and cons and what you as a person benefit from story over now graduates so first of all, as a graduate applying to med school, know that you've got options. You can apply for a four-year course, graduate entry, or a five-year course, which is a direct entry. But you have to look at the universities and look at their entry requirements and just make sure that you're eligible because some universities are a bit funny. So some universities that have a four-year program won't let a graduate apply to the five-year program, so that type of thing. And also it depends what course you did. Um, some universities will only take graduates on the four year program if they have a science based degree. So if you did biomed and those types of things, then you're eligible. But if you did um, French, then you're not eligible. Whereas other graduate universities, like for example, I think Warwick, they don't care. Whatever degree you did, you're eligible for the four year course. So those types of things are really important for you to consider. I know that you've got options. So first of all, narrow down the universities and narrow down which program. Don't think just because you're a graduate, okay, I'm gonna apply for a four-year program, end of story, blah, 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 blah. Keep your mind open for the five-year programs. Like, I did I apply to any four-year programs? I don't think I did, actually. I think all the ones I applied for were five years. Yeah, I think all the ones that I applied for were five years because they offer more places, first of all, and I knew I had a better chance of getting into a five-year program than getting into a four-year program because the place to applicant ratio for the four-year programs is just ridiculous and I wanted to maximize my chances of getting in and even if that meant an extra year of study, like it's fine. It's not even a whole year, it's like an extra nine months of study, so it's absolutely fine and I was happy to do that. So yeah, narrow down your universities and narrow down your courses. Next is then find out what those universities need. Do they need a UK CAT or do they need a GAMSAT? I only took the UK CAT because I just don't want to take the GAMSAT. I'm just that type of person. But my advice to someone else would be to take both. Take both the UK CAT and the GAMSAT. Keep your options open. There's no need to close any doors early on because you never know, like you might score like I don't really know how the GAMSAT works because I didn't take it so I didn't look too much into it but you don't want to close off any doors too soon so I would say definitely if you can look into both or take both if you can 
So that's UK Cat and Gamsat. And then the really, 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 really important thing is think about funding. How are you going to fund your degree? Because as a graduate, and I had a rude awakening yesterday when, so anyway, this, let's not even begin to talk about that, otherwise I'll be ranting for ages. But, um, so student finance will not fund your second degree, particularly if you have, if they've funded your first degree. So student finance did not pay me anything for my first degree. However, they still refused to give me any kind of tuition fees for medicine, which seems ridiculous to me. Does that seem ridiculous to you? It's, I think it's ridiculous because they didn't pay my tuition fees for my last course. So how come they can't pay my tuition fees for this one? Anyway, like I said, that's another story. If I begin to rant, we will be going off for ages. But yeah, know how you're going to fund your degree. Have a proper sit down and think about, first of all, um, costs. So that's that £9,000 times four times five. The NHS will fund the, fi the clinical years of the four-year course and they will give a bursary for the fifth year of the five-year course. But of course, that might change, you know. The times that we're in now everything with regards to the NHS and the bursaries and funding is constantly changing so don't get into it betting on the fact that you're going to get a bursary like because that might change it, the bursary might go so um think about nine thousand pounds for four years or for five years that's a lot of money over four years that's thirty six thousand pounds forty five thousand pounds over five years so think about that first of all that base figure and then living costs how much is it going to cost you to have a roof over your head um food how much is it going to cost you to eat per year uh resources books those types of things i mean i personally don't buy any books because i have a great library so there's no point in me buying any books whereas you might be the type of person that wants to like annotate and wants to write extra notes and all of that and maybe you do need to buy books so factor that in um flash like all types of resources factor those in and travel costs so getting to are you going to be walking to university and how are you going to be coming going back home like during holidays and those types of things really really important to think about think about costs it's it's expensive like full stop it's expensive so you have to go into it knowing how you're going to support yourself how you're going to find yourself and there's loads of well loads loads is a big word there is some um great bursaries and um scholarships and stuff like that so you can look into that see if you're entitled to any and if you are start applying start you know getting ahead on those types of things because you're, you're going to need it basically and the thing is most people manage like we all manage it's difficult but like we manage you know and sometimes it might then be better to take a year out work for a year and then then you start knowing that okay I'll be able to support myself XYZ with support from family with this grant and this loan and this that and this that so just bear that in mind and it's really important to bear in mind cost when you're thinking about to factor in cost when you're thinking about applying all right guys i think i've pretty much covered everything i may not have um but lots these these videos will continue to come with advice on getting in if you have any requests of videos please leave them in the comment section feel free to subscribe feel free to like this video um yeah and you can follow me on instagram as well if you want to all of those links are in the description section and good luck with all your applications i shall see you in my next video bye